I will be refashioning this long maxi skirt with a matching top into a contemporary duster coat. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to focus on the skirt first and what I'm going to do is cut down the centre front and then I'm going to shorten it as well because um, it's quite long and if I'm going to make it into this uh, contemporary duster coat then I need to make sure that I'm not stepping on it when I walk. So I'm going to do that first and then we'll do the top. So I'm going to put the top to one side and then fold the skirt in half. But before I do that, I'm going to remove this bow. The next step, once the bow has been removed, is to get the side seams, put those together, get a wonder clip, hold those in place so I can cut down the center front all the way down to the hemline well I've cut down the center hello I hope you're well if you're new to my channel I'm Colleen Geely if you enjoyed this video so far, please do give it a thumbs up. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. So if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worth giving this video a like. It is now cut. So I'm going to shorten it. So I'm going to decide how much I want to take off the bottom. Let's see if without, yeah, that'll be enough. Let me get my tape measure. See how much that is. Yeah, about 12. About 12 centimetres I'm taking off. So I'm going to press all the way along the hemline because that'll leave a crease mark in which I'll be able to cut. I just want to make sure it's even all the way around. So I've pressed in my crease line, all I need to do next is cut along this line. away the lower section this is going to be part of the top quite a lot there to work with so I'll put that to one side the next step is to finish off the hem line so what I am going to do is a double fold so it'll be nice and neat what it wants and there you have your double fold I do have my video tutorial which shows you how to do that I'll link that below so that's the next step I'm going to do and then once I've done the double hem I will turn the front and give it a little bit of a facing let's see I think I might stitch this by hand actually because there's no other top stitching on there apart from the hemline. We shall see, we shall see. But the first of all, I'm going to do the double hem. The new hemline is now sewn. Nice and neat. All that is left for me to do is to turn the front. Doing this same method where I'm going to fold it over twice and then I am going to hand stitch that into place and now it's time to hand stitch
so the skirt is now complete the center front is now neat and tidy so all I need to do now is focus on the front put that to one side and bring in the front and this section here so now what I'm going to do is cut the front and this is going to be the other sleeve so to speak gathering that up somehow and have it on this section like that with an opening so I'm going to cut this first so put that to one side my scissors side seams to side seam put that together keep that as close as possible okay get my scissors and cut be careful when you cut to so make sure you don't lose your elastic so I'm going to put some pins in there So I'm going to do a double fold I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did with the skirt just like that on both sides the front is now finished well it's not finished I've actually based it in two position and making sure I don't lose the elastic at the bottom and also the top so let's put that to one side for a moment and let's get the other section and what I'm going to do is sew along here and all the way along the top here in order for me to create that cute little shoulder detail It is now sewn and I've also pressed it and now it's ready to be added to the top. So here's the top and I'll get this strip and place it underneath like so to the front and also the back. Okay, that's now in position that will be I will actually sew along this stitch edge here on the front and also the back and then it's a case of sewing the shoulder section so make sure it's about roughly here so I'll put a pin in there I'm going to go slightly at an angle and it's now ready to be taken to the sewing machine so let me just repeat so I'm going to sew 
into the stitch long here at the front and also repeat it to the back and then do a line of sewing along here which will be the shoulder and then I'll be able to create the detail with the remainder of the fabric. So the top is more or less complete. So I've sewn the thick straps to the front and also the back. And I've sewn the shoulder. So all that is left for me to do, just arrange this in a manner like so, to the front and back, and sew that into place. And then attach it to the skirt. So I'm at this stage where I've sewn this little, it's not really a bow, it's kind of like a scrunchy kind of bow thing happening here. Um, it's just a very, but it's, it's a very contemporary looking bow, let's put it that way. So that is being sewn just there. That stays in place. Now we have to bring in the skirt because this is the final stage where I'm going to attach the top to the skirt section. So what I'm going to do is place it from here to here. I'm going to go with the side seam on the top. I'm going to do a zigzag stitch all the way along there, just from the front to the side, and I'm going to keep the back open. I have joined the top to the skirt using the zigzag stitch. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? That's the wrong side. And now all I'm going to do now is try it on. I'll just do a quick recap. So this is the skirt section. It was three tiers, all equal length. I shortened the lower one so I could have something to work with for the top. Um, you can machine sew this. I actually hand sewed it. It's all about preference, what you prefer to do. And then I attached it the top to the um, to the skirt at the waist, creating this gorgeous zigzagging effect. It's elastic. It's opened at the back. And that's the waistline. And then we come to the top section. I did the same with the top section when I cut it in half. I actually hand sewed the facing, let's call that, and that sleeve was already there. And then what was left from the bottom that I cut away, I created this contemporary looking bow. I don't want it to be too much like a bow. I want it to look deconstructed in a way. So I'll play around with that. And yes, it's now ready for me to try it on and see what it looks like with a pair of jeans. This is so gorgeous. I just love it. Look at this detail. I just got to do a twirl. It's so gorgeous. 
anyway, I've stopped posing. So if you enjoyed this video tutorial, then please do give it a thumbs up and please do leave a comment below. Um, do share it with your friends and family. I'm also on Instagram, so if you want to see me wear my outfits of the week, of the day, then you can always go along there. Um, my, my handle will come up somewhere here. And um, so yeah, so like I said, do um, do let me know if you give this a try as well, because I'd love to know if you do. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.